put my keys on my purse. A couple days ago, I bought some fabric, some sweatshirt type fabric, and I wanna make two easy makes. So I wanna make a hoodie, and then I also want to make a dress. So right now I'm going to the store just to get some stuff to cook today. I think I'm going to make this chicken dish that I found on Pinterest. Love Pinterest. I'm always on there looking for different things. But I purchased some fabric the other day from Cali Fabrics. I love them also. And I was so excited about it. It was this black and white striped fabric. And a little while after I purchased the fabric, I got an email saying there's a problem with your order. And I was like, what? What kind of problem? Well, it turns out I had to order three yards of the fabric and the email said that they did not have three yards. So it was a little less than three yards. So they gave me an option of keeping the fabric and then they would refund me the difference or I could like order something different. So. I was like that's okay just give me a refund and then I ended up ordering some more fabric from Fashion Fabrics Club I think that's what it's called so I'm waiting on that to come in the mail and it is some more striped fabric it's in green and black and the stripes I think if I remember right they're kind of small so I can't wait to get that in the mail I think I'm gonna make a dress with that I'm wearing my simplicity jacket I don't wear it very often and in fact it's actually kind of warm out here today, so I do feel a little overdressed in this jacket. But I got everything I needed, and now I'm about to head home and start cooking dinner. My plan is to make this vintage pattern. This is Butterick 3266, and I want to make this view. This view is a little bit shorter than this view, and then this view has a pocket, and this one doesn't. And I'm going to make this in a size 6. And then I also want to make this pattern, which is Vogue 1945. This pattern is rated as average, and I would like to make this hoodie here. It's a cropped hoodie, and I'm hoping it's not going to be too short. But I want to make this one that has a hood, and and then you have this one here that's also cropped without a hood. So I finished the Vogue pattern, which is the white sweatshirt. And I really like the way that it turned out. Like I mentioned before, it is cropped. So it looks really nice with high-waisted garments. So I tried it on with a couple of high-waisted skirts and a couple of high-waisted pants and I really liked it. Now this pattern does have dropped shoulders. Can you see? Yeah, this has dropped shoulders. And let me scoot it back. Okay. And then you have the hood. And the hood is lined. And then you need some ribbing for the waist area and also for the sleeves. You also need drawstring and eyelets in the front here. Now my drawstring came out a little short because I only purchased a yard. I should have purchased a yard and a quarter. So when I actually wear this, the drawstrings actually are way up here and I can pull them down, but then it kind of cinches the hood in like this when I pull it. So I could always, you know, take these out and put a longer one in. So it's not really that big of a deal. I didn't make any major changes to this garment. I did decide to use the wrong side of the sweatshirt fabric for the sleeve portion. And I really liked the way it came out. I thought the wrong side was nice and soft. So I just wanted to add that in just to kind of give it a little something different even though you can't really tell but yeah it is there so my next sewing make is this vintage pattern from 1985 and i purchased this pattern on etsy like years ago and i never made it up but i finally decided to go ahead and give it a try 
I did look up to see what was going on in 1985 and three things stood out to me. So the song We Are The World came out, the Color Purple movie came out, and the Golden Girls premiered on NBC. So I thought those things were really interesting. Now I did decide to do the same thing with the sleeves and I used the wrong side of the fabric just for the sleeve portion. Now this front pocket was on the dress and then I decided to take this front pocket and also add it to the bottom half of the dress just to do something a little different. The dress can be worn in two ways. So you can wear it just straight down like this and you can also pull up the drawstrings and wear it that way. Once the front drawstrings are drawn, I think it makes it look like you actually are wearing two separate pieces. So it looks like you have on a separate top and a separate skirt. But I really like this pattern. This is how it looks in the back with it drawn up with the drawstring pulled and it's a very comfortable dress and it's also very warm. The drawstring is pulled through a bias tape casing. You take some bias tape and you place it on the wrong side of the fabric and there are placement lines so you place the bias tape where the placement lines are and then you stitch very close to the side of each edge of the bias tape and it's going to leave an opening here and then you take your cording. I put a little piece of tape on the end of my cording because the cording was starting to fray and then I just stuck a safety pin through the cording and the tape and then all you do is you take your safety pin and you thread the cording through the bias tape. You will also need to have some holes in the front of the garment for the drawstring to come through. This is how the drawstring looks once it's thread through the case. No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out We just landed in Portland, Oregon. I think 
We're about to go grab something to eat. All I had this morning was that fruit that you saw me eating. So I'm waiting on my husband to come out the restroom and then we're gonna start our day. We'll be here for a couple days. Ooh, this seat is all the way up to the front. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this seat back. There is no way I can get in here. This seat is all the way up to the front. Wait a minute, let me figure this out. Ah, okay, there we go. Okay, that's a little better. Ooh, I gotta go back a little more. I thought it was better, but no, okay. We might have to get another car because my husband noticed that the tire pressure is low. And he said as he started to drive, it was getting lower. So he went to see if somebody has like a pump that we can put some air in the tire. So we'll see what happens. What did they say? What did you say? I thought you went to see if they had a pump. I just put in the tire in the back to see. Oh, okay. Didn't you mention you were going to see if they had a pump? Yeah, I, if I saw somebody, I didn't see. I haven't seen anybody else. I just went. And went. Oh, okay. You think I should take the chance on it? No. Just, I don't want to get back over there now. Maybe they'll just give us a different car. Yeah, they probably will. So we ended up getting a different rental car, so that worked out fine. It was no problem getting something different. And then I'm looking on my phone to remember the name of the place we went to eat. So we're staying downtown and the restaurant we went to is really close to our hotel room and it's called, I wear glasses and I don't have them on right now. So, okay, Screen Door, that's the name of the restaurant. And the food was really good. Now I must say, all I got was potatoes and fruit but the potatoes were seasoned so well the waitress said that they seasoned them with um, Old Bay she said they put this spice on the potatoes and I love when my food comes out hot so the potatoes were nice and hot and then the fruit was good it was just fruit and then my husband he enjoyed what he had and he liked it so much that he said he can see himself going back there again so i was like okay it must have really been good and my potatoes were delicious so i was really really happy then i came to the room and i did my hair and i'm actually tired it took me a while to do my hair and it just kind of just took all my energy out I have a Bible study that starts in about 15 minutes that I almost forgot about. So that's one thing. <laughs> I just don't. I don't understand how my, how my bag make it up there. Well, I needed a little prop. You know, I needed something. So, you know. If you use my bag. Yeah. Isn't that okay? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> You interrupted me. I was I trying to tell them about my Bible study I started. Do, I didn't do nothing. You just got up. Mm -hmm. Well, all I did was turn around here. I interrupted. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, I have a Bible study that starts in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that and probably call it a night afterwards. 